I'm Nicholas Adams in mundane life. Within the society, I'm known as Nicholas de Eastleach, Dictus Le Tardif, which means the slow. The SCA stands for the Society for Creative Anachronism. It was started in California in 1966 as a university party, really. And from there, they did it again the next year. And over the last 54 years, it has gradually morphed into a historical reenactment society. Uh, we have slightly different compromises than other societies. We do a lot of what we do purely for ourselves. We don't do it for display with other uh, with public displays. We do do a few demos for um, village fates, that kind of thing. Um, but we basically concentrate on whatever they did in the medieval period, we will do in some form, someone will do it. We cover combat with both armoured combat and rapier combat. We cover archery, we cover what we call the arts and sciences, which is anything from sewing, garb making, brewing, cooking, uh, lots and lots of things. <laughs> Within the society, I'm Rebecca of Flintheath. In reality, I'm still Becca of uh, Becca Edney. Uh, my main focus in the society are fencing, some music, some knitting, getting into various other things. I just like trying stuff out. Within the group, my role is I, I have, actually have three, three officer positions within ours of governance group. I'm a rapier marshal, which means I'm responsible for the rapier fighters and the fencers. So I give like go, no go on practices, depending on weather and how many people are going to be there. At today's Yule Ball event, I organised the, the rapier tournament. And also I'm, res I'm technically responsible for the loan of fencing equipment and sort of like the common good of fencing within the Shire. Uh, I'm also the chronicler, which means that I actually write a lot of the material for publicity type things, so if we've done an event somewhere and we're going to put an article in the local newsletter to say what was going on, it's often me that will write that. And I also write the posts for our Facebook page to announce every week what we're doing. My name's Oliver. Although my persona name in the SEA is uh, Edward Raymondson, uh, I'm 14 and I'm at, currently at a event here at Buckton Towers. Uh, how did you get involved with the SEA? Um, well, I started looking into sword fighting because at the uh, about a year ago I was very interested, and then my parents found the Facebook group of the SEA. And then we went down, tried it out, and we've been involved ever since, so. How did you come up with your persona? Um, well, well, I looked back through a bit of family history to see, like, names that were used quite a bit, as well as inspiration from books I read, set in the medieval period. Uh, what time period does he represent? Uh, my persona is set in the mid 13th 14th century, about the time of the Hundred Years' War. Uh, what kind of person is Edward? Um, probably a soldier because I first got into the SCA because of sword fighting, but later on I, he's probably going to branch out, do some other things. Any ideas of what yet? Uh, maybe arts and sciences. I mean, blacksmithing looks quite fun, so I try that. Um, my persona, I came up with two, with a, if I talk about the name, I came up with it from two different ways. I, before I joined the SCA, and I still do, I do genealogy. Uh, so my father's 
line goes back to a village at the time, go, went back to a village called Eastleach. So Nicholas of Eastleach. So I'm, I'm just sort of starting to get into the sewing and costuming aspect of the society uh, with a lot of help from everyone else in the group who is not afraid of sewing machines. But uh, you, you need sewing machines if you're going to make anything of any size. But this was actually, we, we had this, this um, silky fabric on the outside donated. It ended up with me after being passed around because no one really knew what to do with it. And someone said, you should make a really nice piece of garb to wear for court. And so I like, looked around the internet, found some pictures that I liked, brought it like, I want to make one like this. And Baron Garrier, who is way better at costuming than I think I'll ever be, looked at it and said, so what's, what is your sort of sewing competency level? And I said, I am getting less frightened of sewing machines. And she said, okay, so we're going to lose some of this detail. But, but nonetheless, she was really helped with like cutting out, like sorting out the patterns, helping me cut them out and sew them all together. And I get to wear it today, which is amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have different tournaments at certain events. So the one at this event was one where you have to aim for their arms and legs and not go for kill shots. And one difference between fencing in the SCA and uh, Olympic fencing and professional fencing is that, um, well, you can move about your opponent so you don't have to go in a straight line. But also, if you get hit on the arm, you don't lose the bout. Instead, you just lose the arm, so you can't use it. So within the SCA, we have something called heavy combat, which is armoured combat. Um, it's basically replicating the combat that existed up until the mid-15th century. Uh, it's men in armour, women in armour. We A lot of our tournaments are half and half in terms of gender balance purely because that's how many we have fighting. Uh, it's based around the, a book by Duke René of Artois um, on sort of how to fight combat in a tournament without actually killing all your army off just by having a tournament. So we don't actually use steel weapons, that's one of our compromises because we do full contact uh, armoured combat. So if you're using a steel weapon, even with armour on, you would injure or potentially kill your opponent. So we use what we call rattan wasters. In period, they would have used it, wasters made of uh, wood, perhaps oak or ash. Uh, the reason we use rattan is it doesn't splinter, whereas wood splinters. So what we are doing is we are fighting each bout to a kill. To get a kill, you have to hit someone on the head or in the torso with a sufficient power. So if you hit them light, it will just be called light and it won't be a kill. So just hitting them in the right area doesn't kill them. You have to hit them sufficiently in the right area. Um, if you look at some of the video of us fighting, you'll see open-faced helms aren't actually open-faced. They have bar grills on them. The reason for this is so that we can do as whatever headshots we want without being dangerous. So the bar grill is effectively a cover for empty space so that we can safely fight. Whereas in reality, it would have been an open-faced helm and a face shot which would have killed you. Uh, in real life, I'm an intellectual property lawyer. So, <laughs> so what your colleagues think about your hobbies? Do they find it unusual? Do they think it's really cool? Um, as far as most of my colleagues are concerned, it's just like, I'm in a fencing club and we dress up sometimes. So, <laughs> Well, doing the fencing, firstly, it's good exercise and it's good fun. And you also get to meet lots of people who you have similar interests in because we're all here because we like history and the medieval period.